Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today I've received some spot fog lights LED from my new friends over at LED Mercy. This is the new V4 set of spotlights. They're spotlights, but they're fog lights. As you can see, it has this really vibrant yellow amberish look to it. Peel off the lens covers. Look at that. All LED bulbs, several banks in them too. Heat dissipating fins on the back. Really easy to install. Here's the harness where you just connect to it. Connect positive and negative to your battery terminals. And it has the enclosed switch with a light that tells you when it's on or off. Looks like it has enough cables here for me to be able to run it from the front of the grill, through the firewall, into the cabin where I can mount this switch somewhere. And then off and on, these lights will go on. Comes with a bracket that you can attach to here and you can pivot or rotate in any direction and whatever angle you choose. Comes with hardware. Let's hook it up and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna test them. I have a 12 volt car battery over here and I've connected negative on negative, positive on positive. I've got the headlights, I've got the fog lights here plugged into the two modules on the harness and here's the power switch. Let's see what it looks like. Wow! Holy cow! Man, oh man, is that bright. Look at the banks of LEDs on there. Eight on each side with a cylinder full of like 20. I don't know exactly how many there are, but it's super, super bright. And I love the vibrant color of that yellow too. Fantastic for inclement weather, fog or snow. I wonder where I'm gonna mount so it. Here's my 2010 Ford F-150 Super Crew. When I bought it, I didn't have these grids over here. So I figured that'd be a good place to mount this, right in there. But then I was looking and look at this. It would look badass if I put it right in there. That would be cool. I was thinking about replacing those fog lights with these, right? But I have to dismantle those and I could run into mounting problems because it's mounted a different way. But I think I could just drill a hole right into here and put the bracket on in there, wire it up in there with zip ties around the existing wiring harnesses, and then put the, uh, put the switch right through the firewall to an accessible place in the cabin where I'm driving. I think that's where I'm gonna do it. That would look pretty cool, right there. Has to go at an angle because I can't get it. Unless there's a hole. this bolt fits snug So there we go, we're all finished. 
It was a kind of pain in the butt to get your hand in there to turn the screw, but you know, I took off the vices plate, gave me more room. But it's on there really nicely now. Um, it had enough just to reach past the firewall into the area. I'll show you. So the switch came through the firewall underneath. This is the furthest it goes, which is fine because I just put some double-sided tape here and I was gonna just tape it like that or like right here, you know? But it's cold now, it's winter, so it doesn't stick. So I'll have to find a way to, maybe I'll zip tie it or something. But anyway, here we go, watch. On. And <laughs> let's go! That looks great. Love the color. So, you know, attach right to the battery. You know, it's 12 volt constant with the switch. Uh, be sure you turn it off, otherwise you'll drain your battery, you know? You could also switch it and attach it to a switched fuse panel if you wanted to also. So I have to figure out a way to adhere that switch to the dash somehow, you know, if I have to drill a hole or something, whatever it is. But uh, fantastic, really easy to put together as you guys saw from time-lapse. Anyway, if you guys would like this, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go and check it out. Thanks a lot for joining me on this weekend's product review. Love these LED lights from LED Mercy. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's great! I got that on video! See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers!